Hey everyone, how's it going? It's Quinton here and welcome to tutorial number seven. And in this tutorial, I am going to show you guys how to set up a subdomain. So we're skipping straight over this uh, email panel over here because emails don't really have anything to do with web development. Uh, I might come back and do a tutorial on this as like a bonus video, but yeah, it really isn't related to web development. It's not related to my channel and I don't wanna to cover too much about that. But let's go over to subdomains and I'm gonna click on the subdomain link and this is gonna open up a page where <laughs> I get to set up a subdomain and like how simple is this? All I do is I fill in uh, the subdomain I want and that'll be added to my domain. Uh, so whatever I type in here, dot josiecorp.com will be the subdomain and, I, and then I'll hit create. So let's type in uh, a new project, I don't know, something like that. Uh, and let's hit create. And that is going to create my subdomain. You can see over here as well, the root directory is public HTML slash new project. So what that means is it's gonna create a directory called new project uh, in my uh, public HTML folder. Uh, so if that has confused you, uh, basically, that's just a new folder in the the public HTML folder. And uh, I know I kind of said that twice now. So let's just go to File Manager. And um, if I go to public HTML, you can see that now we've got a new project set up here as a directory. And uh, there are two ways we could access this. So I could go to josiecorp.com slash new project and that's going to take me to this directory. But instead of doing that, I could actually use the subdomain that I set up, which is newproject.josiecorp.com, and that goes to the same directory. So uh, that's pre pretty much what a subdomain does, is it just sets up a like subdirectory and then it also um, directs this domain to uh, that same directory. Uh, anyway, now that that's done, let's take a look at redirects quickly because uh, if you if you might want to redirect that subdomain at some point, uh, so you can create a permanent redirect with uh, j by just choosing that option, and you could also do the same thing with an HT Access folder if you guys have ever worked with HT Access, um, and that's exactly what this is going to do. It's just going to add it to the HT Access folder. Uh, so we can permanently redirect our subdomain, which is a new project.josytuts.com, and we can redirect that to something else. So uh, I'm going to redirect this to Google just for fun. And it has to be the full URL. So let's go http colon slash slash www.google.com. Uh, and yeah, you can choose if you want to redirect it with the www or without it, whatever. Uh, that's up to you. And uh, let's hit add. And this is now going to redirect my uh, subdomain. So now if I try to go back here, it should redirect me to Google. So uh, the how simple is that? Redirects and subdomains work so easy. And if you ever want to uh, delete that redirect, you can just go over there and delete it. And the same thing with the subdomain. Scroll down to the bottom and you can go ahead and delete the subdomain if you choose to. Uh, so that is how subdomains work and that is all I have for you in this tutorial. Don't forget to subscribe. Please feel free to leave a comment, like and share this video. It's really gonna help my channel grow. And most importantly of all, don't forget to check out my, check out my new website, josietuts.com.